if every time you open Reaper, you find yourself having to always set up things in a certain way, close windows, move things around, launch different scripts, there is a solution for that and it will save you a lot of time. Let's look into startup scripts. So there's actually three different ways of doing this. First two are with the SWS extension, and then the third way is a little more complicated, but it is the native Reaper way. Most people that I've talked to about this feature will use it to load a screen set when they start a project or when they start Reaper for the first time. Some others are using things like the virtual MIDI keyboard, having that pop up and be ready to go when they start Reaper. And others are using various scripts that need to run all the time and they launch it at startup so that things like colored rippling or selecting the track when they make certain uh, item selections um, is always running. So let's start off with the project startup action. This is from SWS. It's actually not in the extensions menu. You actually have to select it from the action list. So let's open up the action list and type in startup. We have various actions here for clear global startup action, clear project startup action, set global startup action, set project startup action, show project slash global startup actions. So we're going to start with the set project startup action. This action, once it's set, will load that when you load a project and it's saved within a specific project. So each individual project can have a separate startup action. And don't forget, you can use custom actions in here. So instead of loading a single action or a single script, you can load a custom action and it just does all those steps. A very common thing is to load in a screen set. So let's look for the screen set. Load window set one, I'm gonna right click, copy selected action command ID, and then go back to the startup action, set project startup action, hit run, this little window pops up asking for the command ID, the SWS function or the script ID. And so you paste and hit okay. And it will confirm with screen set load window set number one is defined as project startup action. Then you do need to save your project for this to actually remember that function. Now let's talk about the global startup action. So this only runs when you first start Reaper. So if you open Reaper fresh for the day, it's gonna run through the startup action and get you set. If you have Reaper closed and then open a project from Explorer or Finder, then it will also run that startup action uh, on the first run, in addition to any project startup actions. This is what I use for my global project startup action. It's a custom action. First, it loads Windows set number one, then it scrolls track view to home, which means that it's just gonna set my view so that track one is at the top of the project and transport go to start a project. So if I ever save my project with the cursor at a particular spot, it's gonna go back to the beginning. And of course this just applies to the first project of the day. But if you have a default template, you could add something like this into that. You just save this as a custom action, save it as your project startup action, and then save into your default template. So that's my custom action. If I wanted to save that into the template, I would go up to the templates menu, project templates, and then save project as template, and I would overwrite my default. And in preferences project, I would just make sure that my default template is loaded there. If we're not sure what actions are assigned for the project or global startup actions, we can use this action, SWS slash SNM, Show project global startup actions. Just hit run. Screen set load window set number one is defined as project startup action, and custom project startup is defined as global startup action. Before we move on from the SWS method, I want to just show you one of the projects that I've set up with a project startup action. So if I go to my video projects folder and my template, I load in this 1440p 2020 video tutorial edit template. When I load that in, it also loads in a script, which is the uh, loudness graph from Heda. And so if I show my project startup action, it is the loudness graph VIP script. And as before, you'll see that my custom project startup is defined as the global startup action. So that's the two options for the SWS extension. And the third way is creating a startup script and putting it into 
the Reaper scripts folder. At the Reaper folder, I'm going into scripts and I'm going to make a new um, text document with Notepad++. And we do need some sort of uh, function that is going to run. So here's an example. So let's do, I'm just gonna copy this, this one that I got from the forum as an example here. So I'm just pasting in reaper.main on command and reaper named command lookup. Essentially, this is just running a script from the main action list. And in this case, it's this script ID, which corresponds to the track inspector VIP, another Hada script. And so here's the important part. When you save this, you save it into the Reaper scripts folder, and you make sure that you're on uh, file type all. And so this will be named underscore underscore, has to be two underscores, startup, all low caps, and dot Lua, L-U-A. And so now I will we'll quit Reaper and open Reaper. And the track inspector script started up. It didn't go into the right position, but it did load at project startup, plus all of the other things that normally run with my project started up. The view is all set up the way that I like. No other floating windows or anything like that, just this script loaded up. So let's look at that script again, and we can add in other things. So just go to the next line, and you can run multiple commands here to set up Reaper, to launch things, to close windows, to you know change whatever function you want. Uh, anything that is scriptable can be launched through here. So you'll be using functions like reaper.main on command. You put in the command ID and flag is usually like, I think it's minus one for the current project, something like that. And then reaper named command lookup is for the um, SWS actions or uh, reaper scripts. So if we look in the action list, there's various command IDs that you can see listed here. Um, some of them are just a couple numbers, and that's where you would use the um, this main on command command ID. Just change that to one of these numbers. And for all the other ones, copy the selected command ID and put it into this other one uh, with the command name. And uh, any of the SWS ones are like that. So load track templates or yeah, any of the ones that have names you would put into this uh, named command lookup add a comment by just putting two dashes after the name. After you made your changes, hit Control S to save, and then relaunch Reaper to load that script again. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope that's been interesting and helpful. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.